Hey, if people from other countries visit your pharmacy and ask you medications, what are you going to do? Today, I'm going to show medication counseling for amoxicillin. Then you will know some of the English expressions for it. Let's give it a shot! Hello, Shinpei here. Today, I'm going to show you the amoxicillin of amoxicillin. I'm going to show you the amoxicillin of amoxicillin. The medication that your doctor prescribed is Amoxy 500mg. The chemical name for Amoxy is Amoxicillin. It is antibiotics. It kills bacteria in your body. Then it works for bronchitis. Take one capsule three times a day. It should be effective in a few days. But if not effective, please see a doctor, okay? I recommend you take with food to prevent stomach upset. And also some of the other side effects are diarrhea, nausea, vomiting. But usually they are mild. Don't worry about it. And also it is very rare, but also it, it is important to tell you because it is the first time to take amoxy this time, there is a, always a small risk of allergic reaction. If you have a signs of allergic reaction, such as rash, hives, and shortness of breath, please see a doctor right away, okay? And there are other things to tell you. Hand washing is quite important not to spread infection to others. And drinking lots of fluid is important to prevent dehydration. Also, if you have a fever or headache, Please take a Tylenol or Advil as needed. Do you have any questions? Okay, then, if you don't mind, I will call you in the two or three days to make sure your, whether your medication is effective. Okay, take care. Have a great day. How was it? Today, I'm going to explain the name of the product, the product, the chemical name, the mechanism of action, and direction, onset, side effects, non-pharmacologic therapy. And follow up. 特にオンセットとノンファーマクロジックセラピーの2つは私は日本で薬剤師をしていた頃は説明していませんでした説明していなかったというよりは説明しなくちゃいけないっていうことを理解していませんでしたオンセット is when to expect or what to expect ノンファーマクロジックセラピーっていうと例えば食事のこととか、まあ、運動のこととかがあると思うんですけどそうすると、まあ、栄養士さんとか、まあ、理学療法士の人が説明するべきだと私は思ってたんですね実際考えてみると栄養士さんや理学療法士さんに会うのってなかなかその実際にはない特に無料で相談できるような場所ってなかなかないと思うんですねそれで「But、anyone can access to the pharmacy so we can ask them about our medications or non medication stuff」なのでカナダの薬剤師の使っているリファレンスにはノンファーマクロジックセラピーの部分が書いてあります私の動画を見ている方で特に英語は得意な方はわかると思うんですけども私の英語は全然完璧ではありません英語の文法の間違いも比較的あるしだけれども薬剤師として海外で働くレベルまでなんとか到達することができました英語を使うことはとても勇気がいることでなかなか前に踏み出せない人もいると思うんですけども、皆さんもぜひ頑張ってやってほしいなと思います。Okay, guys, see you next time.